Long before TV talent shows like The Voice, Mervyn Shiner recorded a song the world learned by heart and never forgot. It was a huge hit. Overnight, he was singing with the biggest names in country music. When he retired, Mervyn moved to Tampa. He called me the other day because an old friend is appearing in concert this weekend, and Mervyn had a humble request. And after hearing his story, I wanted to help. I was 28 years old there. Singer-songwriter Mervyn Shiner began making records in 1949. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. A producer at Decca Records had to convince him to sing his biggest hit. I said, I don't, I don't sing this stuff. I said, I'm a country singer. He said, I don't care. He said, you're going to record it next week. He only made $50 off that now classic song, but it made him an instant star. I got a call from my manager and say, we got you on the Grand Ole Opry with Hank Williams in Nashville, Tennessee. I said, oh, jeepers, cats. This is incredible. Mervyn has recorded 124 oh, songs and performed with country music royalty. Look at all these records. Yeah. He even sang with a 20-year-old Nashville newcomer named Dolly. Did you know who she was, really? No, no, I didn't have any idea who she was. So I walked into the studio this day, and uh, here was this girl, and he introduced me to Dolly Parton. And he wrote her this song. We had all the good things going, baby. Merv became one of Dolly's biggest fans. He bought tickets for her Tampa concert weeks ago. And I, I sure would like to see her. It would be nice yeah. just to say hello to her. I shared Merv's humble request with Dolly's people, and guess what? Dolly autographed a picture and invited Merv to reunite backstage. Really? Yeah, to Merv. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? What a nice surprise. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Merv doesn't look or sound like a man about to turn 96 years old, but then again, why should he? Like Peter Cottontail, he's been living life to the fullest with a bunny-like spring in his step. Happy hopping, happy Easter day. Oh, what a great time I had there with Mervyn. Thanks to Dolly Parton and her people for being so kind to Mervyn, too. I plan to be with them Saturday when they reunite backstage, and I'm going to show you how that went next week. Keith, you said he is 96. Going to be 96 in February. He sings and plays so well. I couldn't believe it when he picked up the guitar and he played us several songs. In fact, I had Mervyn sing four songs for us, including Here Comes Peter Cottontail. And you can watch those clips and see this story again if you want to do that by going to the homepage of WFLA.com. Great story.